وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It is my pleasure to welcome you to the IOU's orientation for the spring 2024 semester. You have been given the blessing of walking on the path of knowledge of Allah and his final messenger. We ask Allah to bless you on this journey and to accept it from you and reward you as long as you are on this path. Ameen. In our orientation session today, we will explore the legacy an investment in both the worlds, a legacy of knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, in Surah Al-Mujadila, verse number 11, يُرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرْجَاتِ Allah will raise those who have believed among you and those who were given knowledge by degrees. And in Surah Al-Ra'd, verse number 11, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of a people until they change what is in themselves. This portion of the verse in Surah Al-Mujadila reminds us that belief and attaining knowledge are among two qualities of excellence in a person and that these are the reasons for a person to excel and be elevated among others. We may not understand why a person is distinguished or stands out among others, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees this station due to belief and due to having been given knowledge. So Allah affirms in Surah Al-Ra'd that He Jalla Jalalahu does not change a nation or a people until they have changed themselves. We must seek change that is transformation first, then Allah will make that transformation easy and accessible. In today's orientation session, inshallah, we will go over the following information for you. We will begin with the Chancellor's address to the students, moving on to a discussion on study material and course evaluation, a discussion on study methods, semester cycle, and seeking support from the faculty. We will talk about exam centers, the importance of assignments, an address to scholarship students, and learn some time management tips with our student counselor. We will then learn how to access and get support from student affairs office, how to navigate through the student dashboard, we will have a discussion on student representative council and local student committees, followed by students code of conduct and complaint procedure. We will then have a Q&A session with Sister Maryam Azul and finally conclude with a vote of thanks. Dear students, I'm sure all of you are very familiar with Dr. Bilal Phillips, who is the founder and chancellor of IOU. He begins our session with a personal address to you. Dr. Bilal is a Jamaican-Canadian Islamic scholar. Shortly after his reversion to Islam, he embarked on a spiritual academic journey to the other side of the world, seeking knowledge in Saudi Arabia, where he completed a bachelor's in Islamic studies in al Madina, a master's in Islamic theology in Riyadh, and later a PhD at the University of Wales in Islamic theology. Dr. Bilal Phillips has written, translated, and commented on over 50 published books on various Islamic topics. He has also edited and published the 56-book Iman reading series for children and presented Islamic programs for a number of years on Riyadh Channel, Sharjah TV, as well as Peace TV, Huda TV, Islam Channel, and The Dean Show. Without any further delay, dear students, Dr. Bilal Phillips. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. The world today is a cauldron of confusion with new ideologies being thrust into the forefront of the media. Education is changing. People are being driven towards confrontational and anti-religious customs. 
We are living in a time when adhering to Islamic values is indeed like clinging on to hot coals. In the midst of all of this, the International Open University, IOU, stands firmly committed to offering higher education infused with Islamic values in all fields of study. Being faced with the tribulations of our current times, while remaining laser focused with determination and steadfastness based on authentic knowledge, promotes success in weathering the tempest of the modern anti-religious onslaught. IOU remains an anchor in the midst of this chaos by providing its students the ability needed to avert them from being swayed away from attaining their goals as a direct result of deviation from Allah's path. Instead of losing course, all of us at IOU strive to push ahead, determined to work towards our goals. Seeking knowledge is a lifelong obligation for Muslims. Talabul ilmi farid ala kulli Muslim. We are encouraged to learn new knowledge and skills. We are also admonished to use this knowledge for the benefit of ourselves, the betterment of our families, our societies, and humanity in general. Whether it be a trade, a hobby, or knowledge, all newly acquired information can be used to better our lives and the lives of those around us. With that, IOU is proud to announce the introduction of some new streams of study, inshallah, coming in the fall of 2023. MSc in psychology, MAIS, which is research-based, and a master's in Arabic linguistics, which is also research-based. Maintaining the focus on providing the Ummah with quality Islamic education to revive the grandeur to the Islamic nation. IOU is also working on introducing the master's level studies in IBEF, Islamic Banking, Economics and Finance. Also master's in business administration and education in the near future. By Allah's permission, and by Allah's grace. The International Open University has been instrumental in bringing education to the Ummah for over a decade. What began as a single degree program of study in Islamic studies has flourished into the general diploma in Islamic studies, which is free. The GQMC, which is the global Quran memorization center providing for thousands to study the Qur'an, to memorize the Qur'an, wherever they are in the world. And a degree campus of seven majors, Islamic studies being the initial degree, which later evolved into degrees in psychology, education, information technology, business administration, Islamic economics, and Arabic language. IOU also has programs for those who speak Russian, Indonesian and Urdu, while the world struggled to offer education online during the COVID outbreak, IOU was already in place and ready to continue providing authentic knowledge to the Islamic nation. It was fully capable of delivering the quality learning experience required for the future of online education. With Allah's blessings, IOU seeks to add to the body of knowledge that it is providing to the Ummah in the next semester and in the near future. Muslims are instructed by Allah to be mindful. Allah challenges us in the Quran in Surah Muhammad, verse 24. He said, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمْ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا do they not reflect upon the Qur'an or are their hearts locked up? 
we are admonished not only to read the Quran and to learn it, to memorize it, but to reflect and be mindful of the Quran and what it contains. To make the conscious decision to follow it and to act upon it. To act upon what Allah has sent in his final message. Therefore, mindful learning is the basis of a Muslim's education. Deciding to learn knowledge, whether Islamic studies and learning about Allah and his messages sent to humankind throughout human history, or to learn otherworldly knowledge. However, all within the scope of Islamic principles, which would be, inshallah, pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each Muslim will be asked about the time he or she has spent from the time he or she was given. We can use the new life situations to fall into despair and our own destruction, or we can choose to refocus our intentions, to redirect our lives and the use of our time, which is a gift given to us by Allah, to be mindful of our situations. And what may be a new direction given to us by Allah for our future. And to learn new knowledge and skills and improve the ummah with this knowledge. Mindful learning is making the choice to study Islamic studies or to study other sciences from an Islamic perspective. Being conscious of what we learn who we learn from and how we learn. What we learn, we should be learning about Allah and His final message, which is included in the worldly subjects as well, so that all knowledge is gained and utilized in ways which Allah approves. Who do we learn from? We should be learning from reputable scholars who have learned from reputable scholars whose knowledge is taken from original sources, how we learn, putting in the requisite time and effort to learn what is taught well, and revising this knowledge, making the knowledge a part of us and not just something we pass through. Beneficial knowledge is so important, we have supplications both for it and against its opposite. The Prophet ﷺ taught us, Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a. O oh Allah, I ask you for beneficial knowledge. And he also taught us saying, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa'a. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from useless knowledge. Therefore, mindful learning is also analyzing the knowledge at hand and deciding if it is actually beneficial or not and focusing on that which is of benefit, while using that focus to direct our lives and the lives we influence towards pleasing Allah and ultimately bringing us closer to Him. I ask Allah to make this a beneficial year for all of those who are connected to IOU, as student body, faculty, and administration, and to bless our efforts and accept them as sincerely made for his pleasure. Amin. Jazakallahu khairan kathira, Dr. Bilal. We ask Allah to bless your efforts and preserve you for the IOU and the Ummah. Dear students, it is imperative that we familiarize ourselves with the category our program falls under as the rules governing these categories are different. This is a reminder that you may check the name of your program at the top right corner of your account after login. Once enrolled into the IOU courses, you now have access to the following study material which will aid you in your studies. The course text. The course text is the core text that will be used for the course. It is available as an e-copy on your student dashboard that can be downloaded. Next, 
we have the module or unit audios or videos that are recorded sessions of the explanations of the topics covered in the book. The content of the audio and video is exactly the same. Next, the supplementary recorded sessions are additional recordings by the course teacher to help you understand the concept better. This is followed by the midterm and final study questions, which will help you gauge your understanding of the topic. Please note that this is not a document that gives you access to the questions that will appear in the exams. It is only for practice. For the exams, you are advised to study from all the material listed above. The course evaluation is done through multiple ways and the aggregate is considered at the end. In simple words, each type of coursework contributes a certain fixed percentage to the final course grade. There's only one assignment to be submitted per course. The MAIS course-based courses have research papers to be submitted. All specific information can be accessed from the schedule. Each module or unit has a small test to be attempted in order to proceed with the next module test. You should be knowing which course category you fall under, revised or non-revised, as the exam pattern is slightly different. For all revised programs, the midterm and final exams are of two parts. Part A has the multiple choice questions, while Part B are open-ended questions. As for the non-revised programs, it is only one part with multiple choice questions. These are the essentials on the course page in order to ensure that effective learning takes place. Event schedule and calendar for important deadlines, course syllabus section that offers a detailed analysis of what you will be studying in the course, download or read course textbook for each course or module. The textbook will be provided by IOU and available on your course dashboard. This is essential throughout the course as the course teacher will be using this book to proceed. Watch or listen to course module audio videos. The content on the audio file is exactly the same as the video file. However, students find it useful sometimes to download the audio and play it while they're working or commuting. This is an extremely useful feature as our students have vouched for it as well. The course notes section consists of notes that are not written by IOU, but have been shared by dedicated students. You may refer to them, but IOU is not liable for any errors on it. Lastly, you can seek clarification through student discussion forum and ask the teacher forum while also emailing the course faculty. These forums are a good platform for the teachers and students to discuss their questions or seek clarifications. Study method. Dear students, this is a study method for undergraduate programs. For undergraduate programs, there are two parts of the midterm exams and final exams. Part A consists of 30 MCQ questions that contribute to about 60% of the total weightage. Part B consists of open-ended questions, which constitute to about 40% of the total exam weightage. Please note that number of, course, uh, number of questions will vary from course to course. The midterm exams, as well as final exams for all undergraduate programs um, that are revised are required to be attempted at the exam center. The maximum allowed duration to complete the program for full-time students is six years with a normal duration of four years. And for part-time students is nine years with a normal duration of six years. Students will not be allowed to retake a particular module or course more than three times. And also students who do not complete at least 25 credits from the first year curriculum within first calendar year shall not be allowed to continue the program. This is the study method for graduate programs. The maximum allowed duration to complete these programs for full-time students is two years 
with a maximum duration of four years. Students will not be allowed to retake a particular module or course more than three times. A student who has not passed all the first year courses in the program after two years of full-time study will not be allowed to enroll in any course. Please note that midterm and final exams where applicable are required to be attempted at the exam center. Students must carefully check the course instructions to determine which courses have both midterm and final exams, which courses have final exams only, and those that have neither. Please note that full-time registration will require students to register for a minimum of 40 credits and maximum of 60 credits per academic semester. Study method for the intensive Arabic program. The semester is divided into two sessions named Spring 2024 Session 1 and Spring 2024 Session 2. Spring 2024 Session 1 commenced on 1st March 2024 and Spring 2024 Session 2 shall begin in the last week of May 2024. Please note that each semester has two sessions and each session has a midterm and a final exam. In each session, you can study only one course at a time and each course is a prerequisite to the next course. That means you can only study or enroll in IAP Arabic 102 after passing IAP Arabic 101 course. Please note that the event schedule and calendar for IAP is different from other offered programs. IAP students can see the IAP calendar on their student dashboard. Dear students, I hope you can now understand the placement of different elements of your course page. In this short tutorial, you will now learn how to navigate through your course page. You through how a course page looks like. So this is the course page that we have logged into. The main area of the course page will include course forums. Here you have any announcement pertaining to that particular course. By a course, we mean a subject and not the program. So you may be in the program BAIS degree, but in that you are in a course, say, Afida 101, or that is AQD 101. So this is how a course page looks like. You have a course forum wherein you have the announcements, for, announcements portal where all announcements pertaining to that course will be made by a course teacher. Followed by Ask the Teacher, this is a forum where you can post a query directly to your teacher and she will get back to you on the portal itself. Students Discussion Forum is for students to discuss amongst themselves of, the, of any doubt that they have when covering the program or anything related to the course itself. Technical Feedback Forum is for those who would like to report a technical issue they face on the course page. Moving ahead, the next block is course text and study material. Here, all the text material that you require for this course will be present over here. And all of this study material is what is mentioned in the modules going ahead. So for, in order to access it, you just need to click it and it will get saved onto your device. Course notes section usually includes notes not by the university but made by the semester students of the earlier semesters. So you may access them and go through it, but IE does not take liability for those notes as those are not prepared by IRU itself. You have live sessions next, which is within under this block, you might have the recordings of the previous live sessions or you will also have the link to the upcoming live sessions under this block. After that commences the modules wherein you have all the modules and under modules you will have the module notes, you will have the module audio, module video which will be divided into parts or it will be a single video. 
the module audio is nothing but the audio of the video and it is not different from the video in any way. It is usually used, utilized by those students who would like to download the lessons and listen to them um, while doing their other chores or going through their commitments. If some modules do not have a PDF attached to it, it just means that there is not there is no PDF required for that particular module. And at some in some courses, you will see that the page numbers are mentioned. If the page numbers are mentioned, you are requested to go through the course text and study material to see which book and which page numbers are referenced. Towards the middle of the course page, you will find an assignment page. Research paper is only applicable for certain courses and not all courses. You will find an assignment page and in the assignment page, you can then go through the assignment that is listed out for you along with the details that are mentioned in. For example, this assignment over here. When you click on the assignment, it will give you instructions in the first go and then it will also inform you of all the specifications that you need to be aware of. And here you have the question in the form of a PDF, which you need to download and then based on instructions given, you need to complete the assignment. After the assignment, you have certain study questions. Please note that these study questions are not the only questions that you need to memorize or you need to study for the exams. There can be questions that are asked outside these study questions. Following which you have the midterm exam which will be activated at the time of the midterm and before that you will have no access to it. So when it is time for the midterms, during that period only this portal will be open. All you need to do is click on this link and it will take you to the exam page. Following that, you have the remaining modules which are laid out in the same manner as the other modules are laid out. And each module ends with a module test which is compulsory for you to attend in order to activate the module test of the next module. Towards the end of the course page, you have the link to the final exam. Just like the midterm exam, this link will only be active when it is time for the exams to begin. That is during the exam week only, this link will be active. Apart from that, on the course page, on the right side of the course page, you have the teacher contact details and this teacher will be the one who is going to support you through the course. You have their name, their email ID, in some cases you also have their phone number and their office timings. Below that you have the evaluation scheme, wherein the session tests are nothing but the module tests. The module tests contribute to 15% of the course grade, midterm exam contributes to 30%, final exam 40%, assignments 15%, and that constitutes the passing mark of 50%. Below that you have a components. This is all for you to have a look at a glance. You know that this particular course has got 34 modules out of which 17 modules are what you need to prepare for your midterm exam. And for your final exam, you need to prepare for the other 17 modules. And there is one assignment in this particular course. So this can serve as a quick check for you as in, in terms of planning out when and how you need to complete the modules and it also helps you to check it off saying that I've completed the modules now I can move ahead to the midterms and then the finals and then the assignments. Dear students, I hope you understood the placement of the different elements of your course page in the short tutorial you just watched. Now, let us move on to discussing the semester cycle. As you can see here, um, this is a cycle that explains how a semester looks like at the International Open University. So we are here at the top, 
the semester starts um, and the semester alhamdulillah already started um, on 1st March, 2024. We then have an orientation session, which is already happening right now, followed by um, assignment questions being released. We will then have um, midterm exams, um, as well as assignment submission deadlines and late assignment submission deadlines. Um, this will be followed by the late midterm exam period um, and um, the exam center registration period, followed by um, final exams and officially concluding the semester with late final exams. It is important to remember, dear students, that the primary source for clearing your doubts or concern about each course is the course teacher. Use any of the methods available through the course page to contact your teacher. Ask the teacher forum or simply email your teacher. You can even make a phone call to your course teacher within the teacher's office hours. Social media groups are also set up to help you as a student reach out to other students. However, this does not replace the direct guidance from a course teacher. I would like to stress here that while it is not permissible for your course teacher to give you the correct answer on a missed module test, this in no way implies that the course teacher is preventing, prevented from helping you concerning the modules and the test questions. You are permitted to inform your teacher of any missed question on a test and verify that it is indeed incorrect as computer errors occur and it may be marked incorrectly. In this case, the course teacher will manually adjust the mark giving you credit. If your answer is incorrect upon checking, the course teacher is allowed to clarify any misunderstanding of the information and direct you to the part of the lesson or reading material or lecture where you can find the correct answer. Also note, inquiries that mention the module test questions should never be posted in the discussions forum. Instead, they should be sent via email directly to the course teacher. Dear students, IOU scheduling and operations run on UDC time. Do you know the time difference between your local time and UDC? Here's an activity. Type your country, city, the current time, and the difference between UTC and current time. Currently, it's, it's 1.33 p.m. UTC. So calculate the difference and share on the chat window. All right, we're seeing some responses come up. MashaAllah, that's a vast time difference. Thank you so much, students, for participating in this activity. Dear students, let's move on to our discussion on exam centers. As you can see, exam centers are compulsory to attempt midterm and final exams. At IOU approved exam centers are separate organizations are, and are not a part of the International Open University. Dear students, make sure you complete your arrangements with respective exam centers before the final exams and the midterm exams commence. The exam registration procedure is as follows. Contact the approved exam center via email, call, or a physical visit. Make sure you check your availability for midterm and final exam dates, as well as time. Make sure you check your availability for, for a gender. Make sure you check if there's any fee that the center charges 
and make sure if the center is available on weekdays or weekday, uh, on weekdays, weekends, or both. If you'd like to suggest a new student, please note, uh, if, if you'd like to suggest a new center, please note that there is no suitable center uh, or existing center, sorry, you can only suggest a new center if there's no suitable center or an existing center is far away. Students are responsible to contact any proposed center and make all arrangements prior to notifying IOU about adding them as an exam center. Dear students, I'd like to em emphasize the importance of focusing on assignments or research papers. You are researchers. Your research begins now. While asking questions is okay and helpful, as a researcher, you should begin by trying to find the answers to queries yourself by searching for them. Especially in the MAIS, they consist of a major portion of the overall grade even in undergraduate studies. However, there is more to the research put into assignments than just attaining a mark. The various projects also develop various skills required for many types of research and verification of information in life. We have a telegram group for assignment of research papers for brothers and sisters. If you wish to be added into those groups, please contact Help Desk. Dear students, there are some points worth mentioning concerning the scholarship program. Please note that the funds allotted for the scholarships are donated by generous donors, especially reserved for the deserving. It is expected that the students on scholarship will give the opportunity its due right by performing well. The scholarship students are required to enroll in minimum six courses and pass all. BSc psychology students must enroll in at least five courses and ensure to pass them all. For IAP students, they're required to enroll and pass in one course. Please note that being a scholarship student, you are not allowed to drop courses or switch programs. Awarding of subsequent scholarships depends upon academic performance. IOU holds the authority to renew levy fines and even terminate the scholarship based on the level of compliance with the scholarship policies. Dear students, here are a few tips to help you manage your time better. Make sure you begin with a renewed intention. Ask yourself, who are you doing this for? Are you doing this for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Are you studying to become a better version of yourself? Are you studying to grow closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and serve the community? It's always a good time to take a step back and reflect on your intentions for the semester that is to come. Next, make sure you prepare your study schedule. Set aside an important set aside a specific day and a specific time so that you can start your modules um, and complete them ahead of time. Make sure you mark important dates like assignment submissions, exam dates, as well as module test dates. Next, make sure you also take breaks because sometimes not having a correct schedule in place can lead to massive burnouts. Lastly, make sure you practice stress management skills like deep breathing, exercising, reflecting, taking a walk outside, and seeking the necessary support, inshallah. In case you're experiencing further stress or have any difficulty coping with your courses, please contact our student counselor by sending her an email at student.counselor at iou.edu.gm. Dear students, at the Student Affairs Office, we strive to engage in all aspects of students' lives and collaborate with students, faculty, staff, alumni, and many other in the delivery of key services and support to students. We aim to offer programs and services that support the optimal growth of students. 
enhance their intellectual, social, religious, and academic development by providing opportunities for students to experience education and explore interests beyond the classroom. At the Student Affairs Office, we strive to increase student engagement in university activities by providing and promoting quality services and programs. We strive to support a diverse community of learners to enhance student life and create opportunities to develop students as ethical and responsible leaders who make positive impacts in the community. We strive to increase student retention by creating a more inclusive and supportive environment that fosters a sense of connectedness to the university. Our dedicated team offers several services to students to assist them with their academic journey at IOU. Various offices of the Student Affairs Office are there for you to provide seamless study experience. Hence, you may contact Student Information and Support Center for any administrative queries you have by sending an email through contact us form on Student Support tab on the dashboard or send an email to helpdesk at iou.edu.gm. Student Success Team aims to see students successfully complete their education at IOU. Hence, you will find the team contacting you via call as well as some social media applications and would try to keep you on track. You can also schedule an appointment for live call to discuss your study concerns. Our student counselor can help you in time management and developing various studying skills so that you ease your studies. Get in touch with the student counselor by filling form available on the student counseling page. Additionally, our student counselor is also running separate telegram groups to provide assistance, especially for female students with young kids, working professionals, as well as the elderly students. Students with special needs are also encouraged to get in touch with her. Lastly, we encourage you to download Telegram on your smartphone and get in touch with your fellow senior students to get study support as well as some motivation. Dear students, let us now learn how to navigate through your student dashboard. Login page, once you enter your or username as well as your password and we log in, this is how your dashboard would look at the beginning. There are a couple of components over here that we need to go through in order to access the different features that are there on the dashboard and also for us to complete the courses that we are enrolled in. Starting off at the top, under my courses, you will see a drop down. This will give you an idea of the courses that you are enrolled into. Currently, if the student is enrolled into one course, they can see the first course over here. And if there are many other courses, those can be seen over here under my courses. Now, if you want to access the courses that you have enrolled into quite easily, then this is your place. You just come over here click on the drop down and then you can gain access to your courses. Other than that, next to it, you have the courses button. And when you click on the courses button, you have multiple tabs that you can gain access to. The first one is the enrolled courses. This is a list of courses that you are enrolled into as a student. The student is currently enrolled into Orientalism, that is DHD Fine Art 2. And the course is hyperlinked. So if you open uh, the, when you click on the hyperlink, you can directly go to the course page. Next, over here, it will also give an idea about the course grade as to what is the course grade for that particular course. Now, as you can see over here, that the course does not have any grades recorded, and that is why it shows cannot view any grades. Over here, it will tell you the number of modules that are pending for you. So in this course, for the student, module one, starting from module one, the student has an attempt. So that's the module that it is showing you. Suppose you have completed 10 modules, it will show you module 11 over here, and you can directly access the course 
and the modules from the staff. Under all courses, you have the list of courses that are available in your program. So you can have a look at all the courses that are available in your program under all courses. Under completed courses, you will get an idea about how many courses have you completed and the grade that was put against it. In case you find some semesters over here in which the course is not completed, so you can prioritize those and complete them in the upcoming semesters. Next tab is calendar, and the calendar will give you an idea about what are the deadlines of certain uh, the exams of the coursework that is there pertaining to your enrolled program. Next is exam centers, and we have two tabs under that. One is info and the other is arrangement. Now, under the exam tab, you will have all information of your exam centers and other details on how to register for it. Now, in case you do not have a center in your area, and you would like to register for a new center. Under exam centers, you have the tab that says arrangement. When you click on that, you will get all the details of the center that you can possibly recommend to IMU to act as a center for the exams. The existing center information will be available under info and all of that information will be visible to you as soon as the portal opens. You will only be able to see those centers that are in the country that you have registered from. In case you would like to apply for a center for a non-resident country, you will see a link in which you need to click. But all information regarding an exam centers can be accessed through this tab at the top. Then you have student support, which is divided into multiple areas of student affairs office. We have semester cycle, student handbook, and so on and so forth. So anything that you would like to refer to in order to understand how things work, or even a set of how to's, for example, how to register for the Tajweed class, how to unenroll from a course, how to apply for a waiver, all of this can be found under student support. When clicking on the right tab, you will be directed to the whole set of information. Apart from this, what is important for us is at the right side, top right side, you will see your name as well as their student ID. Many students wish to know their student ID is exactly at the top right of your dashboard. What you see in terms of the time over here is the UTC time. So this becomes a good reference point for you. All you need to do is compare this time with your local time and then you will understand how ahead or how behind you are of the UTC time. This is extra beneficial during examinations when you have the portals getting closed at 6 p.m. UTC. So instead of converting the time to your local time zone and which may result in some mistakes, all you need to do is look at this clock at the top right in order to understand what is the UTC time. Moving on, and the banner that you have over here, you once again have calendar announcements for courses, course enrollment, grade history and health desk. Calendar is similar to what you saw at the top. Apart from that, you have announcements. As a student at IOU, wherein we are using the online medium, it is absolutely essential for us as students to ensure that we check the announcements portal all the time in order to check for any latest announcements. So here you have an entire, it becomes a, an announcement board or a notice board wherein we have all the important information, all important announcements made on this portal. Next, you have all courses, which is similar to the courses tab that we saw on top, followed by course enrollment. This is used in when you wish to enroll into your courses. Grade history will show you all the grades of the completed courses so far um, in all, it which will be divided as per the semesters in which you have completed it in. 
and then you have help desk in order to raise a query directly from your dashboard without emailing all you need to do is key in your subject select the issue type write down a brief about the issue and if you have a supporting document add it on and submit it you don't have to go and create an email from your inbox you can directly send a query from your dashboard the next important part of your dashboard is the schedule block here you will be able to see the academic calendar based on the program that you are enrolled in and here you only have a view of all the important dates that are required in terms of your coursework. Furthermore, you will have additional details in terms of these information blocks that are given at the bottom of the dashboard and these information boxes are self-explanatory and it can be utilized in order for you to have to go through any academic concerns if you have this is for normal course enrollment early course enrollment and these are the extra course enrollments like i mentioned these names are self-explanatory so for any query or any portal that you wish to access, you're requested to come to the dashboard and go through these course, just go through these blocks that are mentioned over here and click on the relevant link. For example, if you have any exemption request, you will go through the request block and then select the one that is applicable. Under documents, it is all referring to the document requests that you have or the ones that you would like to apply for. Exams, the exam center info that we spoke about at the beginning is also mentioned over here. Any error reports that you need to make, fee issues, student services, support, all of these blocks are at the, on your dashboard from where you can access all the information that is required. Dear students, I hope you learned how to navigate through your student dashboard, inshallah. Let us now move on to our discussion on Student Representative Council and Local Student Committees. As you may be aware, dear students, it is our goal that we strive for at IOU that, that we have an accredited body of student representatives of both IOU staff as well as students who are based in different parts of the world. These student bodies can be reached out via email or telegram. You can find your local student committee, or if there isn't one, you can make one by contacting scofficer2 at iou.edu.gm. To view and reach out to our representatives and student committees, visit www.iou.edu.gm slash representatives. Student Code of Conduct and Complaint Procedures. At IOU, it is our goal that we strive for that all members, including administration, staff, and students have a positive and beneficial experience while affiliated with us. We do realize that Shaitan never rests. Steering up animosity, especially among Muslim brothers or sisters, is one way for shaitan to attain the goal of separating believers from aspects of following the deen. Therefore, just as every institute needs a code of conduct to promote a positive and balanced environment in which to operate, IOU as well has outlined some detailed protocols with regards to studies, examinations, social media communication, so communication with the faculty, as well as live webinars. Please familiarize yourself with the code of conduct accessible through the student support dashboard. For any student, for any student who contravenes these rules, strict disciplinary action shall be taken. Grievance procedure. IOU also opens the channel through which your own complaints and grievances can be heard and appropriate solutions can also be provided. Hence, you all must familiarize yourself with grievance policy as outlined on the student's code of conduct page so that issues are resolved appropriately. Basically, if you have any complaints against any student or staff or faculty member, 
you should first try to resolve issues with the relevant person through polite discussion. If this does not resolve the issue, then you can report an academic grievance against any faculty member through the teacher complaint portal. Non-academic grievances can be brought into the attention of the Secretary of the Disciplinary and Grievance Committee by sending an email to grievances at iou.edu.gm. We do wish to remind our students that taking grievances to open social media forums and spreading accusations is not only Islamically reprehensible, it could possibly put the student into a situation of facing account for such rants in front of Allah on Yawm al Qiyamah. Please, dear students, fear Allah, even in anger, and take appropriate steps to resolve issues. Do not enter into riba and namima over something that should be solved quietly. We remind ourselves first and then others that shielding the misdeeds of others while seeking retribution for actions is because of Allah also covering our own misdeeds that we may not remember. May Allah forgive us all and guide us. Ameen. And now, dear students, we will move on to the Q&A session where you can send in your questions that you either had before the session or have accumulated during the session. We have Sister Maryam Azam to answer your questions and clarify any issues you have about the upcoming semester. Sister Maryam, over to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I warmly welcome everyone who has been a part of this session and who has taken the admission at IOU. And uh, it's an immense pleasure to see you all here. I have been following up uh, your comments and your questions on live chat box. Um, it's an interesting uh, thing that you are from different countries and you want to communicate. I have been seeing um, a question regularly that how um, you guys can communicate with each other and how you guys can, um, you know, uh, join any group. So for that, um, as we have mentioned in the session that you can always go to your um, IOU account and you can then go to your uh, student support portal. If you will click on student support portal, you will find out um, a sub, uh, you can say a web page where it says social media support, uh, student support, and you can find the groups according to your program. So you have to, uh, you know, select the assignment or you can say the program specific study support option. And you can fill out your Google form uh, and specify which group you want to join. And then you can submit your application. So based on that, you will be added into your specific uh, group according to your program. And then um, next question, which, um, which we have received is, So the next question is, when is the date of assignment to be released? Um, the dates will be soon released and you can always go to your dashboard. And if you will scroll down, you can find out the calendar option. So if you can, uh, you know, click, it will be mentioned there that click here. And if you will click on it, you can directly download the calendar for spring 2024. And it is already um, released there. So the date for assignment, uh, for the current semester is um, June 1st, and you will submit it before 6 p.m. UTC. So you need to ma make sure that you are converting your program, uh, your sorry, your timing from UTC to your local timing. And for that, you will use any website that can uh, you know convert your UTC timing to your local timing. So make sure that you are using those kind of website and you can bookmark those websites. So you do not um, you know, lose or miss out any deadline. Next question is, um, the semester is uh, of three months duration or a six month duration? So the one uh, for all programs, one semester is equals to 
um, six months, pro, uh, six months duration. So uh, it is the same for every program, whether it is uh, undergraduate program or a postgraduate program, it will remain the same. And the next question, which is the, uh, what is currently UTC again, please? I think uh, the student is asking how you can convert UTC. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can always use a time converting website. And for that, you can search on um, internet and you will find it easily. The next question is, will there be any course for pure Sharia law? Um, we are finding, um, sorry, we are, uh, you know, offering a program uh, which is Bachelor's in Islamic Studies currently, and it is covering all the basic uh, subjects of Usuluddin. So you can, uh, you know, look into it. You can check out its curriculum and uh, it's um, also available in PASA. Next question is um, from Abu Muhammad. Do you face any problem in accessing the campus website from your PC or mobile browser? Usually there is no such uh, issue, but yeah, frequently um, if a student is finding such issue, then they uh, we would advise them to you know change the browser or you can change your device and then check. If there is any um, any maintenance going on, then we usually, you know, uh, make an announcement so that students are pre-informed. Next question is, what's the difference between final exam and late final exam? So the final exam, for any exams, we have two sessions. One is normal period and the another one is supplementary period. In normal period, you can, um, it is usually around the beginning of um, February or the beginning of um, August. So you can take your exams uh, in normal period in which there is no deductions of uh, marks. But if you will take your exam in the supplementary session, then 15% marks will be deducted. If you have any genuine reason for it, um, then you can always apply for exemption application. You, you would have to submit the application and uh, your supporting documents. The uh, management will look into your exemption application and they hold the right whether they will accept your application or they would reject it. The next question is, I have already uploaded my documents, but I have not received the confirmation on my email. So you would need to follow up with the, um, you can email, I'm assuming that your admission is not confirmed yet. So you would uh, email at info dot, uh, at info at iou.edu.gm and we will we will check we will check your application and then inform you what's, um, what's the update. Inshallah. The next question is, do we need to attend class with a mentor or need to listen to lectures only for sitting exam? So the lectures are recorded for most of the programs, but we do have um, some live uh, sessions before the exams, which is not compulsory to attend. And for some courses, we do have the live participation marks. So you will have to attend the live sessions and you and your marks will be included in your total course grade. So uh, you would have to, um, you know, look on the check your course scheme, whether there is mentioned that this course has participation marks or not. So make sure that you are checking that your course scheme and uh, you are, you know, basically uh, following up with this one. But the lectures are usually recorded in general. The next question is, is midterm exam written also at the exam center or only final exam? Also, if in the course of the training, you move out from your country, is it possible to change your exam center? So the midterm exams are also in the exam center. This is for the revised programs. For revised programs, students need to um, take both midterm and final term exams from the exam center. And regarding the second part, yes, you can take, um, you can register for 
exam center if you are moving out to any country. Uh, if you are moving out on permanent basis, then you would need to change your uh, country from your profile and so that you can, you know, select your country, your exam center in that country. But in case if you are moving out on a temporary basis, then you will need to submit a non-resident application form. Once it is approved, then you will be able to select the exam center from that country in which you are moving on a temporary basis. Next question is, are there offline exams for a certificate program also? So this about the certificate program, um, those who are on, you know, who are taking certificate, who are the ongoing students, they would need to take midterm exams from home and the final term exams at the center. But uh, at the moment, the certification programs are discontinued. But those who are, you know, ongoing students, they can still continue with their certification program. And this means that certification program is still valid. It is just discontinued on a temporary basis. The next question is, I have enrolled for BAIS. I want to know how many hours of study is required for completing the semester in time. This is actually a very good question. And I would uh, advise you personally, all of you, that you would, um, you know, you should make a proper schedule and you should discipline yourself because if you will not make your uh, schedules on time on the beginning you know at the beginning of the semester then it will be an overwhelming uh, you know experience for you and you would be overwhelmed before the exams before assignment before any kind of deadline so it is important that you set yourself um, a time on a daily basis, like let, let's suppose two to three hours. You set yourself a time that you will study two to three hours daily, no matter what, no matter what you will study. So if uh, you are taking full-time um, registration type, then it is, uh, you know, it is required that you uh, study on a daily basis, for example, four to five hours. And it depends actually for full time ex for full time uh, registration type, you have to take 40 to 60 credits, while for part time, you will be taking lesser credits uh, for uh, 24 to 40 credits. So it would depend uh, based on the courses, uh, how many courses you would take for the semester. So the next question is from Isha. I am from India and the exam center asked for a student ID card. Please guide me how to download it. So the identification card can be downloaded from your um, dashboard. What you will do is you will go to your dashboard. You will uh, scroll down and under requests, you will find um, sorry, under documents, you will find a student identification letter. So you will download uh, your student identification letter by clicking on it. And you can only download this letter once a semester and you can download it once the semester has begun. So you cannot download it if um, let's suppose you are, uh, you know, the semester has ended and you are trying to download it, then it won't show up. You must be enrolled in the semester in, in order to download your identification letter. And um, Maria also asked the same question about class duration for every day. So the class duration, it varies. Um, if you are taking, it depends on which registration type are you taking. Is it part-time or is it full-time? But usually uh, if you are uh, taking the classes, the, you know, the lectures, they are uh, recorded. So you can watch your recordings uh, at your own pace. So there is no, you know, something specific, specific time zone or something of that sort. It is recorded so you, uh, and you can make your flexible study plan. Alia is asking, Assalamu alaikum. Can you uh, clarify me session one and session two for IAP? If I wish to give exams after my, is it possible? Alaikum assalam, sister. And um, about session sessions of IAP, 
So IAP, uh, the semester duration is the same, which is six months, but it has two sessions in the semester. So that if you are taking uh, Arabic 101, so in session one, you will be completing one course, which is uh, Arabic 101. And in the next session, you will be taking Arabic 102. So that's how um, you will be taking, you will be completing your courses in one semester, but in two sub-sessions, you can say. And each, the duration of each session is around three months. And um, you cannot take the exams after the exam period. If you are taking your exam in the normal period, um, and if you miss it, for example, you missed your normal period, then you can take it in the late session, but you cannot take uh, once the portals are closed and once the deadline has crossed. And this is applied for any program, not just for IAP. Asif is asking, will there be any changes according to Ramadan and Eid? So um, you can you can make your own schedule, but there is no such flexibility. The deadlines are already set for Ramadan and Eid. So there is no uh, like a holiday or vacations as such. But you can always, uh, you know, because seeking knowledge is also a part of your ibadah. So whatever you are doing, you are uh, preparing for your exams, for your assignments, it is a part of your ibadah. The next question is, I passed two module tests and one of them had two questions from another module. The other one has a contradiction in the answers. How do I get to take another test that would be fair or correct and correct? So if there is, um, you know, the module test which has the questions from other modules, then you need to check with your course teacher if, um, you know, if he or she has already mentioned that you need to study two modules together or three modules together, and then you have to take the test. So you need to ask them uh, prior and just to make sure that you are not losing your marks. And in case if there is any error in the question or you are not finding the right answer and there is generally an error and you have a support documents for it, then you should apply for MCQ error report. Um, its portal is also available on your dashboard under error reports. So under error reports, you would go and you will click on MCQ error reporting to report your um, concern and the department will look into it and uh, later inform you on the email. The next question is, do we have to go to exam centers in midterm exams too, not just in final exams? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, that for revised programs, you have to take um, the exams both, um, the midterms and the final term exams from the exam centers. For uh, all programs, you have to take your exam midterm exams from home, but final term exams from the exam center. The next question is, there is no BAIS 2024 batch group. What can we do? So you can always reach out to us at Helpdex, um, and then we can look into it. Usually all the, uh, you know, all the programs are listed on, um, on the student support group. You can visit that portal and you can fill out the application form and you can join it. But if in case you are not finding the your relevant program, then you can email, uh, email it to us and then inshallah, we can sort it out. Next question is from um, Rishma. The university will provide us with an identity card or not? Yes, we will provide you with the identification letter. This is a letter. This will be in the format, letter format, not in the card format. So as I mentioned earlier, you will go to your student identification letter on dashboard, click on it and you will download it. Next question is, I have seen a course named Steady Skills course. I have not enrolled it. It enrolled automatically. Do I need to do it along other courses or is it a technical error? Jazakallah. 
Barakalo Fiq, um, this is not an error. Study skills course is uh, automatically in, enrolled for all the course for all the students or from all the uh, regardless of the programs. So this is a free course and this is um, just for personal development purpose. You do not need to attend a like its grades are not included in your GPA or something of that sort. This is just for your personal development. And you do not need to attempt, um, means you can attempt its test, et cetera, but you, it's not necessary that uh, its, uh, it's, its grades will not be included in your total course grade. Next question is, is there any telegram or messenger group for BSc? psychology yes uh, we have the telegram groups and as i mentioned as i mentioned earlier you will go to your student support portal click on social media support student um, uh, option and then you will click on program specific study uh, support to you know uh, apply for uh, submit the application and apply for it next question is from sister sana can we make a hard copy of our assignment and submit the photo of it? Okay, um, do you mean that you have to, are you asking about handwritten assignments? The handwritten assignments are not allowed, but you can, uh, you know, you, you can write your assignment on a Word document and if later for your own reference, you can print it out in the hard copy format just for your reference. But uh, for, for the university, you will type all your assignment in a Word document to, sub to submit it, inshallah. So I am getting a lot of questions from you all, mashallah. I am finding, okay. The next question is, when does the class start? And do we have the, do we, do we have an identification card? Yes, I have mentioned about the identification student letter earlier. Um, the classes will be recorded and the semester has already begun. Can you clarify session one and session two of IAP? Are there different exam dates for both? Yes, exam dates for uh, session one and session two are different. They are not uh, similar. And you can find each calendar by, you know, going uh, to logging into your account and you can click on calendar. If you will click on click here, then you can download the calendar for IAP sessions. The next question is, is English course a must to take? It depends on your um, on the eligibility criteria. If you are matching the eligibility criteria, then you do not need to take your English course. But if there is, um, if you are not eligible, then the admin will look into your um, documents. They will verify it, and they can. If there is the need, then they will tag the English course in your account so that you can, um, you know, take that course and proceed proceed further, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum for BAIS students. The community service work of 36 hours is required for each uh, semester after completing the first two semesters, right? Yes, you will uh, start your community service hours after completing your first year, uh, which is two semesters, right? I did early enrollment. I found seven courses. Is it normal? Can I unregister a course? I'm not sure which registration type you have taken. Um, if you want to drop it, you can drop it right now because free course dropping period is going on. But if you will drop after the free course uh, dropping period, then there will be $10 fine. So you have to make sure that uh, if you want to drop it, make sure that you are dropping it during the free period. Next question is, is there another payment after paying US, uh, 10 USD in the registration process? So the registration process is, um, the cost for it is 
USD ten dollar sorry ten, and for semester fees this is this is a separate thing. Admission fee is a separate thing, and semester registration fee is a separate thing. So once you will pay your uh, registration fee, which is your admission fee, you can call it admission fee, and you are done and your uh, admission is confirmed, then you will proceed to uh, make your semester registration fee. So yes, this, these two are different things. Next question is, are the dates already marked in the calendar? Yeah, calendar is already released now, so you can download it. And uh, one tip I would give you that you can, you know, it will take some time, but you can sit and you can uh, mark all the deadlines in your phone calendar. So and put a reminder. So once any deadline is, uh, you know, reaching, so you can, you know, your mobile will give you a notification. So you do not have to uh, worry about it later. Will there be internships if there should, um, if there should, uh, I'm sorry, if there should be student center? I think you are saying if there is any um, uh, internship. So we do have, um, you can call it uh, um, CRP program, uh, corporate relationship program, where we frequently, you know, post the internships or job uh, opportunities. So yeah, you can follow up on that. And if there's an, any opportunity, you can apply for it. Is your weekly live session for each module? Well, it depends on the course you are taking. Some courses have, but mostly they do not have uh, weekly live sessions. For example, in Tajweed, if those who are taking old program and they have been enrolled in the Tajweed courses, so they will have they will be having the live session, but other but other, but otherwise they will be having recorded lectures. So there will be one live session before midterm exams and one live session before the final term exams. And these uh, live sessions are not compulsory, by the way. Next question is, I have uploaded my documents, but yet not received any messages from my email. So I would suggest you to follow up. And I'm not sure when did you apply for it. Usually you need to wait for three business days. And this is, um, you know, you need to exclude Saturdays and Sundays because uh, this is weekend. So make sure that you are waiting during the business days for any application, by the way, for any type of application you need to exclude Saturdays and Sunday. Next question is, um, uh, I am doing Islamic studies second semester on scholarship, but I got only five courses instead of six. So uh, I think I, we would need to check up your account. And uh, usually the, school, the scholarship students cannot take more than six courses. Uh, and I am assuming that you already know that. So you can definitely reach out to help decks and we will, uh, you know, rectify the issue. Next question is, is English a course compulsory and can we st start our studies till we pass that course? Um, it is not compulsory, as I mentioned earlier. It depends on the eligibility of, um, on, uh, you know, of every student. So if if the student does not need to do the English course, they will not be enrolled in it. But if they need to, then they will be enrolled in it and they need to complete their English course to, you know, proceed with their further studies. Next question is, please, um, where can we ask questions, for example, about due dates for the assignment? So if you want to know about the uh, deadlines, etc., it, it is better that you can download your calendar from the dashboard and put the reminder in your phone calendar. Otherwise, if you have any general or any specific questions, you can always reach us um, at help Dex, um, and they will inshallah. I think we can also put the email address in the live chat box so you can always, um, you know, email us on that email ID. 
I am again getting questions about a student identification letter and the class. When will the classes start? I have already mentioned. Okay, next question is, um, is RL, sorry, is RLP compulsory or possible? It depends on the program. So um, I'm not sure because you have not mentioned the program name, but um, usually RLP is the, something in which we have to really check the documents and then we can you know further give you elaborative answer so feel free to you know email us on the help desk so next question is is there a project requirement for certification in psychology yes you need to do it i read that um I read that student must participate in community service. How do I go about this? Is it a must in my first year, semester one? So no, you do not have to start your community service from right at the beginning in the first year. You can, you know, uh, start it in the, your second year. And you can, uh, if you want, by the way, you can start it from your first year and report it in your second year. So that's completely fine. And you have the flexibility. Per semester, you need to complete 36 hours of your community service. And Brother Lukman mentioned that can the credits from my bachelor's program be useful to apply to any Islamic university such as IIUM in Malaysia or University of Medina? Can the same apply to top private global universities? So this depends on the university requirements. Many universities have different requirements. So you need to email them and check up with them um, whether they would accept your credit hours. Next question is, what's the difference between full and part-time? So, it you know, full-time is for those students who have time enough that they can study longer for longer period. And for part-time students, it, for part-time registration, that it is for those who are like, let's suppose they are working or full-time, uh, they have a full-time job or, um, you know, there is, someone is a homemaker. So they, it is uh, suitable for them that they take part-time. And under part-time, you can take 24 to 40 credits. And under full-time, you can take uh, 40 to 60 credits, which is equivalent to four to five courses. Uh, Sister Mariam, I think we will need to, inshallah, stop. Thank you so much um, for your time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you abundantly for answering all critical questions. Dear students, inshallah, if you have any further questions, um, you can reach out to Sister Maryam and the help desk by dropping her an email at helpdesk at iou.edu.gm. Once again, Jazakallah khairan kathira, Sister Maryam, for um, answering um, some crucial questions. Dear students, let us now move on to um, your feedback for the entire orientation session. Can you please take a moment to share your feedback with us for the orientation session? The link to the feedback form will be shared on our chat window. So make sure you fill in the feedback form so that we know how your experience was in this session in Java. As we end this session, we give thanks first to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us with the opportunity to learn about his name.
without having to traverse the earth with knowledge. This is indeed a huge blessing. We thank Dr. Bidal Phillips for conceptualizing affordable online Islamic education and bringing it to the Ummah. And we express our gratitude to all of the shuyukh who teach Islamic knowledge and add Islamic perspective to the secular knowledge, making it relevant to the Ummah. Thanks to all of IOU's behind the scenes staff and volunteers who keep IOU online and running. Finally, thank you, dear students, for attending and being a part of the IOU family. May Allah bless your efforts and increase your reward. Ameen. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, nashhadu wa la ilaha illa anta, nistaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.